Good afternoon, uh, I'm Bruce from New England Solar Hot Water. Uh, a bit about ourselves, New England Solar Hot Water has been installing conventional solar hot water for solar thermal systems for about the better part of 20 years. The last three years, however, we've uh, shifted our focus to this technology. This is the smart solar, uh, solar assisted heat pump, and this is the panel. There's three parts. There's a panel on the outside of the house, not the roof, but on the outside, on the wall usually. There's a storage tank and then a heat pump inside. But in any event, this is the, the main innovation right here. And this is, uh, uh, this is the, an evaporator for, for a heat pump that makes uh, domestic hot water. This panel is shown on uh, clapboards, um, but obviously it can be on any surface. Uh, it can be on masonry even. Sometimes we put these on brick chimneys because there's no other place to put it. Uh, you can turn it sideways. This is portrait. You can turn it sideways in landscape to put it under a window, for example, and perhaps to get it back into a home landscaping a little bit so it's less obtrusive. We've installed about 500 of these panels, uh, this type in a, in a slightly smaller version. Um, and we've never, you know, we've never gone to a home and, and not been able to find a place to put this panel. Ideally, it's close to the storage tank inside, but it can be 40 feet away, right? So if, you're, if your hot water heater is in one corner of the basement and the best place for a panel is, is elsewhere, it's, it's probably okay. Um, the way this works is uh, refrigerant flows through this panel. There's an inlet down here, cold refrigerant flows through here. You can see it breaks into four channels. Um, all these raised surfaces are actually channels or hollow, um, and we call this the distribution. So refrigerant comes in here, splits four ways, goes up, down, around the panel as it does so. This panel is basically um, uh, presenting a lot of surface area that allows that refrigerant to be warmed. It's an evaporator, so the refrigerant is uh, evaporated from a liquid state to a gas state. Uh, and as it does so, it picks up a lot of energy from the environment. Um, and, then, and then all the evaporated refrigerant converges down here. And this is the outlet. And this goes to the uh, heat pump compressor inside. The heat pump compressor compresses that, uh, uh, that gaseous refrigerant into a hot liquid, and that ultimately is what, what heats your hot water. Um, this panel is happiest when it's in the sun. It doesn't have to be. For example, uh, people tend to shower in the evening. If they shower in the evening, then the heat pump's gonna kick on when there's no sun. It's still gonna make hot water. Um, the panel is designed to work by convection, which means moving air. Doesn't mean wind, it just means regular air currents uh, outside against the side of the house, for example. It also likes any type of moisture, whether that moisture is humidity, or rain or even snow or sleet that makes it happier. The refrigerant uh, at the inlet there is always going to be colder than the environment, so it's always picking up energy from whatever from the ambient conditions around it. Of course, it's happier if it's in the sun in the middle of August, but in, here in New England in, in, in a cold January night where it's negative 10 degrees, it's still working. All right. Um, on a per square foot basis, this panel is by far the most efficient way uh, to collect energy of anything renewable. Uh, a solar hot water panel, which is, you know, solar hot water is my background and my, uh, my passion. This thing on the wall uh, collects much more energy than a solar thermal panel on the roof. Um, and a solar electric panel, um, this probably collects about three or four times the energy of a, of a comparably sized solar uh, electric panel. Um, and in best conditions, this thing's gathering about 2,000, this single panel is uh, gathering about 2,000 watts. And it's available in a single panel or a double panel. A double panel isn't two panels next to each other, rather it's one panel on top of the other, and that increases output. Um, so, so that's the introduction to this technology, um, and the panel in particular. Uh, this is the first of a, a number of videos, or the subsequent videos will be more about how it works, and including how the heat pump works and installer videos. Um, and then my favorite topic is comparison of this technology to, to conventional hybrid uh, heat pump water heater. Um, basically, uh, uh, a conventional hybrid water heater seals heat from the inside and, and has kind of a hidden cost in your heating system, especially here in New England. This, of course, gets the energy from outside. Um, and then also we talk about uh, economics and the incentives. Basically, um, this is the most highly incentivized uh, renewable techno technology there is right now. The federal incentives are extremely high and the local rebates are high as well.